James. James. Entertain me. Ugh. I'm not really feeling your commitment here, James. Really? Come closer. Graham! Entertain me. Uh... I mean, dancing is really more James's thing. I... Why is it always dancing? Who said anything about dancing? Well, dancing is my gift, Matt. It's implied. Well, can you exchange that gift for a talent of greater value? Okay, fine, Mr. Fussy Pants. Do you want a draft? Always. How about cube? Oh, sweet. You have a cube now? Uh, no, you do. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you do. It's strictly worse cube. Uh, you and Cam put it together. Don't say its name. Serge told me if you say its name out loud three times, its commons appear in your next sealed pool. He's a judge. Are you guys sure you're not getting strictly worse ah. confused with something else? Possibly some kind of chupacabra? Shh. Strictly- uh, but, but. I'm signed up for 64 player Modern Master Sealed on Tuesday. This cube has Warp World and Scramble verses in it, Matt. You don't understand the power you're dealing with. Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't really say power to describe those cards. It was really more like- Strictly worse! You know, Matt's not wrong. Hmm. I don't think anybody's ever said that before. Well, it would be fun to draft cube. Just a good cube. Yeah. I should really get rid of that bad cube. You mean you haven't yet? I thought you said you were going to encase it in lead. Do you have any idea how much lead costs these days? What if we make a new cube, but this time we don't dredge the cards from the depths of the hell dimension? So a cube that's fun to draft. Bold. I like it. Me too. But what do we put in it? We don't have any power or anything super crazy. Mm, comms block cube? Mm, we just did the roto draft. How about a mono red cube? Is that a thing? Sure, I've seen lists online. Who wants to draft a mono red cube? I do. Aside from you. The people who posted those lists? Popper? No, all my favorite cards are in common. Really? Yeah, like uh, Hedron Crab and Control Magic and Vampire Nighthawk. Tell me on something that's not blue or black. Mind Funeral. That's blue and black. Eternal Witness. Yeah, James, we're a no-go on Popper. Yeah. Okay, now go with me on this one. What if we just put cards that are good into our queue? Ooh, ooh hang on. I don't know if our metagame can handle that kind of a shift. All I'm saying is we get a bunch of cards that we already like and mash them together into something awesome. Those in favor say Dece. 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 The idea is found to be Dece. All right, how about we head home, get cards that we like that we aren't using in a deck, and meet back here in like an hour? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Should we get Cam and Paul and tell them to bring cards too? No, they're going to be at Yellow Jacket all day. Doing what? I don't know, something about standard? Not just standard, standard players. So this is like a know your enemy kind of thing? Precisely that. Obviously, you'll never know who you're going to face in a given tournament, which is why it's important to study your foes in aggregate. Okay, but... Why are we hiding behind the counter? The standard player startles easily, unsure of from where their next challenge will arise, be it a multi-decade veteran or a new adopter. They must remain ever vigilant. See how they riffle through piles of discarded draft commons, hunting for a playable to use in their sideboard. F&M is approaching quickly, and they must be ready. The store's metagame had been stale for weeks until a rogue sideboard card proved its worth. Now that deck's genes have been passed down into this new generation, ready to test their mettle. Well, what about that guy? Oh, he's played blue-black control every week for the last six years, and it's really annoying. Wow. This is a lot of cards. Um, we're gonna need to make some cuts. Uh, do you guys wanna start working through in color order? Great, let's start with red. Is every card you brought red? Uh. Yes? I thought we agreed we weren't making a mono red cube. I know, I just brought all the best cards I have. And they're all red? Duh. Why don't we go through in Wooburg order? Well, I've brought White Wraths. How many did you bring? Well, so far, I've got Wrath of God, End Hostilities, and Planar Cleansing. Oh, I brought Rout and Day of Judgment. And my Phyrexian Rebirth. Okay, that's too many. Too many? Don't we want more to bring it up so that everyone can have a Wrath? What? No, do you want to play a deck running six Wraths? I do. 
Okay, do you want to play against a deck running six wraths? Ah, uh, uh, how, okay, how, how about just um, Wrath of God and Day of Judgment then? Cla classics of the genre. <laughs> Why would you ever need more than two wraths in a 40 card deck? You mean a 60 card deck? No, no, a 61 card deck. And there is the problem. This player is planning to field a 61 card deck at tonight's tournament. His peers disagree and worry that he might have fallen ill. The player is insistent but the others are having none of it. When it becomes clear that the player is not listening to reason, he is forced out and shunned by the others. The story will have a sad ending, cast out of the herd and without access to the latest strategy and tips. He will not survive the rotation. He's gonna die? No, 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 no. He'll probably just start playing commander or something. Oh. Okay, so how many bounce spells do we want to give blue? Because right now we have Washout, Into the Royal, Unsummon, Snap, Repulse, and Capsize, and those are all auto-includes. Well, I, I, also... I think that's more than enough bounce spells already. Yes. Yeah. I don't understand. The more bounce spells the cube has, the worse all the green pump spells are going to be. Exact. Wait, how many green pump spells are there going to be? Um, okay, uh, Giant Growth, Titanic Growth, Vines of Vastwood, Mutagenic Growth, Invigorate, Groundswell, Might of Oaks, Might of Old Crosa, Predator Strike, Become Immense, and Large. That is too much pump. Well, that's like the minimum number of pump spells you need to make the Infect deck work. Whoa, oh, what? Infect? Whoa. What's wrong with Infect? It doesn't play well with any of the themes that we have going on in the cube. Infect is really just Green's thing. There's support in black. So if you want to draft green, you have no choice but to go with black as your secondary color? What's wrong with that? Black can run this Scytherix and Plague Stinger. Graham, this is not the cube for Scytherix. Someday you'll get out of my trade binder, little buddy. Someday. I don't think Scytherix is anybody's little buddy. That's why I call him Skittles. Makes him seem more approachable. He's a giant flying dragon skeleton that's infested with Phyrexian oil. More approachable. Not like... Watch your kids approachable. Okay. Just making sure. Of what? Making sure you're going somewhere with this. <sighs> of course I am. Oh, look over there! These two players are laying their rare binders out as part of a trading ritual, hoping to attract constructed staples. One player has lined theirs with foils, and they will attract better trades. The other player will have to try again another day. There was a standard GP last weekend, and these resourceful players are observing high-performing decks from the event. They must be quick, however, as the light is fading and round one will begin soon. There is precious little time to complete their trading before the pairings are announced. Cameron, uh, this is nice of you and all, but... Oh no! In a desperate search for a relevant uncommon, this standard player has ripped into a lone booster. Downwind of the drafters. There is no greater insult to a limited player. The standard player must be cautious. You don't want to watch this. Watch what? They just want to see what she opened. Well, I, yeah, but I mean, there was this, this... Also, you guys hang out here a lot, but you don't actually work here, do you? Um, no? Then get out from behind the counter! Uh, right, okay, yes, sorry. Finally, it's glass! They can totally see you! Oh, right. <clears throat> okay. okay, we argued about what cards were going to go into this cube. Then, we counted to make sure we had exactly 360, 60 in each color. Then we found that missing pithy needle. I don't know how it got under my pizza. Then we sleeved them all up and counted them again just to make sure. Then we took Scytherix out and put in a different black flyer. It wasn't me, okay? Then we sleeved up all the basics we needed and it only took nine hours. So who wants to draft? Uh, well, unless Cam and Paul get back right now, we only have four. We're back. What'd you learn? Nothing. What? You at least learned the best way to fan out your binder to attract a trading partner. And that helps me with standard how? Well, you clearly need more staples. Ah! Well, there goes our draft. Um, we could call Matt. No. He knows what he did. Um, I don't know what he did. Uh, actually, guys, I think I am too tired to do this draft. What? But we spent all day putting this cube together. Yes. Fine. But we have to draft this soon. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. For sure. Okay. Good night.
didn't we say we were going to draft this last month? Oh yeah. Hey, Skitherex. What? No. No. No.